considering the amount of questions the Pittsburgh Steelers will have at the wide receiver position this season, it seems fitting to lead off the story with a question. What can Brown do for you? With Behind the Steel Curtain, I'm Neil Kulong. Steelers receiver Antonio Brown will get without question the most looks he's had in his career up to this point in the 2013 season. Due to the fact that Steelers really don't have great depth at the position heading into training camp, at least that's the way it appears, Brown, a former pro bowler as a, a receiver and a return man, has a high-level skill in particular in manipulating the middle of the field. He appears at this point to be more of a possession receiver, a guy that can attack from the slot and can get behind and in between uh, zone defenses in an effort to continue moving the chains in what appears to be another season of Steelers' ball control offense. Pittsburgh is likely to be running the ball a bit more than they have in the past and hopefully at a, at a level of a, a higher rate of success than they have. But Brown, his ability on third downs in particular with the absence, uh, the likely absence of tight end Heath Miller will be critical for the Steelers' ability to keep safeties back and to continue running the ball the way that they can. Along with Brown, another big question mark is Emmanuel Sanders, the guy who almost was lured away by the New England Patriots. But what type of activity can he provide the Steelers on the outside, outside the numbers, in replacing uh, the departed Mike Wallace? Sanders has shown at fla- he's shown flashes at this to this point in his career, and he does have something of an ability to get open down the field. The issue with him, though, is injuries. He has not played a full season so far in his career. But when he's been in there, he's been a productive player. And with both he and Brown out there, it is possible the Steelers can utilize something of a short, quicker rhythm passing offense uh, the way that they did last year in their first year with offensive coordinator Todd Haley. Question marks exist after that, however. And it, it'll be interesting to see how many three-receiver, four-receiver sets the Steelers will employ this season. The rookie Marcus Wheaton is behind a bit due to a rule between the NFL and the NCAA saying players cannot participate in team activities until their college graduating class has completed the coursework for their second semester. Wheaton is a little bit behind because of that in the learning curve and has not had the amount of exposure uh, to the, the coaching staff that one would want heading into training camp. But by all accounts, he's a smart player. Maybe he's a quick learn. He can get out on the field quickly. His athletic ability, though, is not anything that can be questioned. He's an outstanding run-after-catch type of receiver, uh, another player that can be utilized well in that short passing offense. After that, though, it's a complete uh, – the depth chart is wide open after the third receiver spot, um, and even that will still be a battle with uh, veterans Jericho Cotchery, Flexico Burris, uh, last year camp standout David Gilreath. These are all players that are going to get extended looks heading into training camp, which begins Friday, July 26th. We're going to have those stories plus full coverage during training camp on Behind the Steel Curtain, so make sure to stick around. I'm Neil Kulong.